Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on your notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, an update regarding talk show host Wendy Williams and her homie, man friend. Mel Maxi. So this is a man that I was talking about in yesterday's video that has been designing custom uh, Louis Vuitton and Gucci um, outfits for Wendy Williams to model for his brand. So I was telling you guys that Wendy Williams has become an influencer now. So she is working closely with this man, Mel Maxi. Not too much information about this man, but he's an urban man who gives me, you know, Kevin Hunter vibes as well. He is referring to Wendy Williams as his homie. Uh, this is the same term that Kevin Hunter used to describe his live-in girlfriend, Sharina Hudson as well. And so I found it very bizarre that after my video came out yesterday, he also removed the picture that he shared of Wendy Williams um, on his Instagram page. And it was a photo of Wendy Williams standing in the street corner by, you know, her uh, sign there where it says Wendy Williams way. And she's modeling Mel Maxi's Louis Vuitton shorts and uh, boots as well. Thigh boots or whatever. Um, knee high boots. And he removed it. Uh, but luckily, I had a feeling that after I would do my video, that's possible this man might delete that um, because it appears that he kind of wants to maintain his association or relationship with Wendy Williams to keep it kind of low key. You know, they're friends, but she, he hangs out mostly at her penthouse. He tries to kind of be behind the scenes and stuff like that. Um, but he was there during the Fat Joe interview. And my problem with that is if this man is referring to Wendy Williams as a homie, why would he allow his homie, Wendy Williams, to appear on a live interview with Fat Joe slurring her words, not looking like she has everything together. She was not ready for that interview. But this man wanted Wendy Williams to wear his clothes on this interview. Um, but anyway, so that was one thing. But he has removed the picture of Wendy Williams that he took on Wednesday. OK, this was on Wednesday that he took this picture. All right, because he also confirmed this as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, so anyway, he removed it. Um, so I think he, he's trying to kind of, you know, make it appear like Wendy Williams is just a customer. But from what I saw, Wendy Williams is a close friend to this man. Um, they're very close. Um, he was also filming inside her house as well. Like I told you guys, and that's where I was like, why is this man filming inside her house? You know, the custom made, you know, bar stools that he made for her um he should already have this kind of stuff already on his website and stuff like that but wendy williams is talking in the background he wasn't really paying attention to her and he's like what are you talking about and wendy williams is like well the man that passed away you know the man that passed away over gucci and this guy was busy filming inside her penthouse so you guys i'm i don't know much about this man but the type of people that Wendy Williams is hanging around, I'm not really sure who they are. I was just curious to know more about the man that was sitting in the background uh, during the Fat Joe interview, and it was Mel Maxi. And now the fact that, you know, Mel Maxi removed the image of Wendy Williams, it also doesn't make sense because she was promoting his brand. So anyway, I hope he's paying her as an influencer and a brand ambassador for his designs. Um, and like I said, he's a man that does custom design. So if you want a sofa with Louis Vuitton fabric, he can do that for you. Uh, if you want your car to have Louis Vuitton fabrics and stuff like that, or Gucci, he can do that for you. Okay. So basically he does the same thing as Sharon Barber, uh, Fallon Pina's ex-boyfriend and the father of, you know, one of her children or whatever. And so, yeah, he does pretty much the same thing. I think this is big business right now, uh, for men in the hood or urban areas and stuff like that. So this is what, you know, they're doing now. This is the new thing. Um, and he's got clients and customers and Wendy Williams is one of them that's also wearing his, uh, you know, custom replica designs or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I found it very bizarre that he removed the image of her. 
um, and this was on the same day that my video was published because I was curious about him because there's not really much information about this man but I'm just wondering like what kind of relationship this is all about because this man just showed up I've never seen him before you know but anyway um, I hope everything is okay but if he's really a friend of Wendy he wouldn't have allowed Wendy to one, wear his brand when she appeared like she was out of it in that Fat Joe interview. And then at the same time, during this time, Wendy Williams, I know she needs money and stuff like that. And I guess people are like, okay, well, why don't you become a brand influencer, you know, and wear my brand and I'll pay you. Wendy Williams said she only has $2, right? So she's doing pretty much whatever it takes, you know, standing on street corners, you know, modeling this man's clothes. I just hope that he's paying her, you know, uh, Mel Maxi, I believe you're watching these videos. Please, please pay her. You know what I mean? Um, don't just give her these free custom stuff, pay her what she's worth. And she's worth a lot more than a lot of these influencers that we see on social media. She is Wendy Williams, you know, after all an icon, a legend and, um, yeah, you know, try to protect her because according to her bank, Wells Fargo, she's surrounding herself with people who are taking advantage of her. And I hope that you're not one of them. Um, anyway, until our next conversation, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say down below. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and message me on Instagram as well at Sunday Omni. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. Cheers.